भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सो वी कंटिन्यू रीडिंग दिस इवनिंग ऑन द भगवद गीता एस इट इज Chapter 4 text 42 This is the last verse of this chapter transcendental knowledge Tasmad Agya sambutam Hritstam Gyana Ashina Atmana Chitva Enam Samsayam Yogam Atishta Utishta Bharata Tasmad Agyana Sambhutam Hritstam jnana nisit atmana Chivitvainam samsayang yogam Atishto tishto bharata Word for word meaning Tasmat therefore Agyan Sambhutam Born of Ignorance Hritstam Situated in the Heart Jnana Of Knowledge Ashina By the Weapon Atmanaha Of the Self Chitva Cutting Off Enam, this, samsayam, doubt, yogam, in yoga, atishta, be situated, utishta, stand up to fight, to fight, Bharata, O descendant of Bharata. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Śrīla Prabhupāda. Śrīla Prabhupāda ki jai. Therefore, the doubts which have arisen in your heart out of ignorance should be slashed by the weapon of knowledge. Armed with yoga, O Bharata, stand and fight. Everybody please repeat. Therefore, the doubt which have arisen in your heart Out of ignorance should be slashed by the weapon of knowledge. Armed with yoga, O Bharata, stand and fight. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. The yoga system instructed in this chapter is called Sanatana Yoga or eternal activities performed by the living entity. This yoga has two divisions of sacrificial actions. One is called sacrifice of one's material possessions and the other is called knowledge of self, which is pure spiritual activity. If sacrifice of one's material possessions is not dovetailed for spiritual realization, then such sacrifice becomes material. But one who performs such sacrifices with a spiritual objective or in devotional service makes a perfect sacrifice. 
When we come to spiritual activities, we find that these are also divided into two, namely understanding of one's own self or one's constitutional position and the truth regarding the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One who follows the path of Bhagavad Gita as it is can very easily understand these two important divisions of spiritual knowledge. For him, there is no difficulty in obtaining perfect knowledge of the self as part and parcel of the Lord. And such understanding is beneficial. For such a person can easily understand the transcendental activities of the Lord. In the beginning of this chapter, the transcendental activities of the Lord were discussed by the Supreme Lord Himself. One who does not understand the instructions of the Gita is faithless and is to be considered to be misusing the fragmental independence awarded to him by the Lord. In spite of such instructions, one who does not understand the real nature of the Lord as the eternal, blissful, all-knowing personality of Godhead is certainly full number one. Ignorance can be removed by gradual acceptance of the principles of Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is awakened by different types of sacrifices to the demigods, sacrifice to Brahman, sacrifice in celibacy, in household life, in controlling the senses, in practicing mystic yoga, in penance, in foregoing material possessions, in studying the Vedas, and in partaking of the social institution called Varnasram Dharma. All of these are known as sacrifice. And all of them are based on regulated action. But within all these activities, the important factor is self-realization. One who seeks that objective is the real student of Bhagavad Gita but one who doubts the authority of Krishna falls back one is therefore advised to study Bhagavad Gita or any other scripture under a bona fide spiritual master with service and surrender a bona fide spiritual master is in the disciplic succession from time immemorial and he does not deviate at all from the instructions of the Supreme Lord as they were imparted millions of years ago to the Sun God from whom the instructions of Bhagavad Gita have come down to the earthly kingdom. One should, therefore, follow the path of Bhagavad Gita as it is expressed in the Gita itself and beware of self-interested people after personal aggrandizement who deviate others from the actual path. The Lord is definitely the Supreme Person and His activities are transcendental. One who understands this is a liberated person from the very beginning of his study of Bhagavad Gita. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purports to the fourth chapter of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita in the matter of transcendental knowledge. Omagyananti Mirandasya Gyanangyana Shalakaya Chaksuran Militam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manovistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Jutapadakamalam Shri Guru Vaisnavamsta Shri Rupam Sagrajatan Sahagana Raghunatan Vitam Tamsa Jeevam Sadvaitam Sadvadutam 
परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पद सहगन ललित श्री विशकंबित हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कंत रात कंत नमस्ते तप्त कंचन गौरंगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विषभानुसुत देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वंशकुभ्य कृपा सिंधु व्यच पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधार शिवासदी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे तस्मान संवूत हृत जननाशिनात्म चिवैन संशय योग भारत सुप्रीम लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण इज इंदूसिंग अर्जुन हिर् टू फाइट Arjuna seated on a chariot being driven by Lord Krishna in the middle of the battle between the Kauravas and the um Pandavas they um ready about to fight but then is very hesitant Arjuna so Krishna says get up now you have to fight uh with the source of this weapon the knowledge that you have that was given to you uh your ignorance should be slashed should be cut off chitva says here chitva without a doubt you should cut off this ignorance which is seated within your heart hritstam ज्ञाना अज्ञान संबुतम इज बोर्न ऑफ इग्नोरेंस आइडेंटिफाइंग विद द बॉडी एज द सेल्फ अर्जुन इज हेसिटन टू फाइट बट देन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर द होल चैप्टर एक्सप्लेन्स अबाउट ट्रांसेंडेंटल नॉलेज व्हिच डिसिपेट्स द इग्नोरेंस विद इन वन्स हार्ट and situates ones in uh, pure spiritual identity so the whole bhagavad gita is about this to situate oneself in proper uh, constitutional position and act accordingly uh, not thinking about the in the bodily platform or mental platform So as Prabhupada mentions here in the purport <coughs> this is like the summary of the uh, fourth chapter which tomorrow you'll hear further from Mother Yasoda who is the most expert in summarizing the Bhagavad Gita but we'll just discuss a few of the topics here it's not possible uh, to discuss all of them but we will touch as much as we can Here explains in this chapter, according to Sila Prabhupada, uh, the system of uh, Sanatan Yoga or the eternal activities of the living beings, um, and they are divided into two. This yoga system has been instructed to <coughs> excuse me to the sun god. Bivasban millions of years ago and even Arjuna was present there he was present but uh, Arjuna uh, forgotten 
This is the difference between Lord Krishna and us. Even though Arjuna is an eternal associate of the Supreme Lord, he was put into that position whereby he became forgetful. Prabhupada says that because we change our body um, from one species to another in different lifetimes, in different universes, that's why we forget. Unlike Krishna, Krishna's body is transcendental, is spiritual, never change, always the same. Hmm? Advaitam Advutam Advaitam Adutam Achutam Anandarupam uh, is unlimited, is uh, non dual, um, and Nava Yovanam Cha is ever fresh, like a uh, 16 year old boy. And here in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, where Krishna is already a grandparent of many, many children, grandchildren. He's about 125 years old, but as Prabhupada says, he looks like a 25-year-old boy. 25-year-old boy. Huh? This is described also in the first part of the uh, chapter. Janma karma chame devyam evam yoviti tatvata chakva deham puna janma na etimam eti sa arjuna. Um, one who knows the transcendental nature of the Lord's Janma um, and his, that means his birth, karma, his activities as Dibyam, as divine, as transcendental, uh, that his body never deteriorates, then one who um, will not take birth again in this world. Chakba Deham Punar Janma, one who goes back to the spiritual world. Understanding this, then he doesn't have to take birth again in this material world. So this is a kind of knowledge. Um, and this knowledge has been described throughout the whole Bhagavad Gita as transcendental. Prabhupada says there are two kinds of knowledge. Mundane and spiritual or transcendental. Mundane knowledge pertains to the body only. How to prolong one's life. Mm. It's like the scientists, they invent many, many things to, in, to extend the life span of human beings. But they cannot do it. They even wanted to stop the death. Mm. But it's not possible because everyone has to die. And spiritual knowledge means knowledge about the absolute truth, um, knowledge about the living entities, the relationship between the both. Um, this is what you call sambandha. There is what you call sambandha gyan, avideya gyan, and prayojana gyan, or sambandha tattva. Abhideya Tattva and Prayojana Tattva, which explains about the transcendental truth that we have relationship with the Supreme Lord uh, and the union between the Supreme Lord and the living beings are, is called yoga. Mm -hmm. And uh, the process of how we can revive our original relationship with the Supreme Lord uh, is what you call uh, Abhideya. This is the activities. Hmm? The activities that one performs, especially the topmost, is the Bhakti Yoga. And ultimately, the ultimate result of this performing Bhakti Yoga, which is a sacrifice, sacrifice of the mind, the body, the words, and the very self, to please the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then it will yield the, what you call, prem, love of God, love of God. So, sacrifice has to be performed. It explains here also, 
यज्ञतत्कर्मनोन्यत्रा लोकोयम कर्म बंदना तद अर्थम कर्म कौंतेय मुक्ता संगा समाचार वर्क हैज टू बी डन एज अ सैक्रिफाइस फॉर द प्लेजर ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड दिस इज वाई यू कॉल्ड भक्ति इफ वन परफॉर्म्स हिस एक्टिविटीज एज अ सैक्रिफाइस मीन्स डव टेलिंग द demands of the senses for the pleasure of the supreme lord's senses rishikesh then he does not have to come back in this material world again mukta sanga samachara one becomes a mukta uh, one becomes liberated uh, prabhupada says also bhakti is performed only after liberation only when one becomes free from the cycle of repeated birth and death that means when one um, comes to the platform of no more material hankerings and no more uh, what's that na sochati na kangshati no more hankering uh, he comes to this brahma bhuta platform mm, brahma bhuta prasanatma This is the liberated stage. No more hankering. Those are liberated souls. No, no more hankering for uh, what he does not have, and no more lamentation for things that he lost. Na sochati na kangshati, sama sarve su bute su mad bhaktim lavati param. That is the topmost bhak. Bhakti means Brahman platform. So, a sacrifice has to be performed, and Prabhupada mentions that in the uh, first part. Uh, if one sacrifices the material possession and is not dovetailed for spiritual realization, then such sacrifice becomes material. There are many, many rich people in the world. I was just uh, reading. This person called uh, Bill Gates, he he donated billions of dollars, which result to saving 60 million people. But because Krishna is not the center of his sacrificing his wealth, huh? it's like even if he spend like a million dollars every hour, he will not, you know. Run out of money for the rest of his life, and he doesn't know what to do with his money. So what he will do is he would uh, uh, create some charitable foundations, hmm? cure this, cure that, help the poor, build this, build that. But because the purpose is not to please the supreme lord, then. Is only meant for material gain. Maybe he'll uh, take birth as a demigod. But then, Abrama Bhuvana Loka Punaravarti Arjuna, you have to come back again. Even if you take birth as a Brahma, performing so many pious activities, um, it o- it is only material. But one who performs such sacrifices with a spiritual objective, or in devotional service, makes a perfect sacrifice. So even the poorest of the poor, if his actions uh, is performed as a sacrifice for the pleasure of the Supreme Lord, Rishikesh, Sarbupadi binirmuktam tat parat bena nirmalam Rishikena Rishikesha. Sevanam bhaktir uchate. He who pleases the senses of the Supreme Lord just by uh, offering even a leaf, a fruit, a water, or some flower, with love and devotion, he'll get eternal benefit. Mm. The main ingredient in one sacrifice of actions is bhakti, love and devotion. So you may have many, many wealth, so much wealth, so much opulences, but if you use it for mundane activities, mundane health, 
it is material. But even if you have a leaf, some flower, some fruit, or some water, everybody in the world can procure or produce that to serve the Supreme Lord, <coughs> then he is eternally get credit. And he will ultimately one day go back home back to Godhead. So Prabhupada also mentions about two levels of spiritual knowledge. He says, when we come to spiritual activities, Mm. We find that they are also divided into two, namely understanding of one's own self or one's constitutional position and the truth regarding the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One's own self means gopi, bartu, padakamalayur, dasa, 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 anudas. We're not this body, we're spirit, soul, and we're meant to serve the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We're a servant of the servant of the servant, of the servant, of the servant, of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's servants. Hmm, that is our position. We cannot be the master. We are the enjoyed. Krishna is the enjoyer. Nityo nityanam chetanas chetananam eko bahunam yo vidadati kaman. Amongst unlimited plural, that means like us, there is one singular plural. Who maintains everyone? We are maintained. Krishna is the maintainer. Huh? It says here. And the truth regarding the Supreme Personality of Godhead. There is only one Supreme Person. Everything emanates from Him. Janmadi Asayataha Aham Bija Pradapita We are all children of God. We're all brothers and sisters. We have one common father, whether we're Christians, Hindu, Muslim, Buddhist, Americans, British, Japanese, Indians, Filipinos. We all have the same common father. It's like there's only one son. We don't call it Indian son or English son or Japanese son. It's only one son in the solar system. So there is only one Supreme Personality of Godhead who maintains everyone and uh, everything emanates from Him. So one who follows the path of Bhagavad Gita as it is can very easily understand these two important divisions of spiritual knowledge. So this is knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Mm. Dibhyan. Um, one who knows our position and Krishna. For him, there is no difficulty in obtaining perfect knowledge of the self as part and parcel of the Lord. And as such understanding is beneficial for such a person can easily understand the transcendental activities of the Lord. So this is real knowledge. And understanding this knowledge is the goal of one's life, human form of life. The cultivation of this knowledge is very important. If after reading the Bhagavad Gita and when has not come to the conclusion about this spiritual knowledge, then as Prabhupada says he is full number number two? Number one. Yeah, number one. Number one. Full number one. Mm. It's like many I was hearing Prabhupada's class recently. He says there are 645 different translations and commentaries of the Bhagavad Gita. That was what, 40 years ago? What about now? Maybe uh, plus one or plus two more? No. Many, many. Uh, and most of them are Mayavari. Mayavadi translations and Mayavadi commentaries. Uh, but even Sankaracharya, who is the head of the Mayavadis, ultimately he concluded in the end, Vajagovindam, 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 Mudhamate. Uh, you fools, what will be the 
value of your world word word jugglery yeah, they're good in uh, jugglery of words uh, if you miss Govinda mm, you should chant worship Govinda worship Govinda worship Govinda because that is the main focus of the Bhagavad Gita uh, some great personalities uh, Mahatma the real Mahatma means devotee of the Supreme Lord but even our uh, here in India this Mahatma Gandhi he, he made a translation and commentary of this and it's not to the best um, when uh, Prabhupada was in uh, New York and because his translation was stolen uh, they were using this uh, translation of Ramakrishna. Hmm? Is it Ramakrishna? Right? Y yes, yes. There is a translation, but they only use the translation because in the poor port, there is like a hidden um, commentary saying that uh, you should worship the person within Krishna, not Krishna himself, the person within Krishna. The Prabhupada says there is no difference with inside and outside of Krishna. It's the same. Unlike us, our soul is different than our body, which is temporary. But Krishna's body is eternal. There is no difference between Krishna inside and Krishna outside. Learning of the Lord's transcendental activities. In the beginning of this chapter, the transcendental activities of the Lord were discussed by the Supreme Lord Himself. One who does not understand the instructions of the Gita is faithless and is to be considered to be misusing the fragmental independence awarded to Him by the Lord. Yes, some, some uh, scrupulous commentator says, yeah, Krishna, uh, He became God later on. But no, Prabhupada says God is God even before He is within the womb of his mother and when he came out he didn't come like an ordinary uh, baby crying he came out as a full grown human form uh, Vasudev form Narayan forearm form uh, full with beautiful clothes ornaments uh, in four hands he has Gada Chakra Padma and mm, Sank, yes, Sanka. That means conch. Conch is chakra, this gada, and lotus flower, Padma. So, where can you find such a personality like that? Huh? Well, we came out of a womb of our mother where we don't have any clothes and we're crying, and our body is full of uh, germs and mucus blood and pus and so disgusting but krishna no but then he turned himself into um, just an ordinary baby so that uh, to relieve the fear of uh, his parents it says here in spite of such instruction one who does not understand the real nature of the lord as the eternal blissful all-knowing personality uh, of Godhead is certainly full number one. Mm. The goal of sacrifice. Ignorance can be removed by gradual acceptance of the principles of Krishna consciousness. Gradual acceptance. Mm. We came here uh, as, as just we... we uh, we pray to our spiritual master, Om Agyana Timirandasya Gyanangyana Salakaya Chaksur Om Militam Yena Tasmai Si Gurave Namaha. I offer my obeisances unto my spiritual master who dissipated the ignorance, huh? my ignorance, with the torchlight of knowledge. Hmm. Such a spiritual master is very rare. 
This ignorance, everyone is born out of ignorance. This is part of the material world. Um, but for those devotees who did not complete the whole process of the yoga system, then they take birth in an aristocratic family or in a wealthy family and also they retain the credits that they accrued during their lifetime. Uh, as Prabhupada says, if you finish 6%, next life you start with 7% in spiritual life. It's not um, diminished or it's not forgotten. So, in this way, that's why some devotees, uh, when you see them, uh, they just join, then immediately they come very rapid to where they were left off and then continue gradually. So the process is gradual. Krishna consciousness is awakened by different types of sacrifices. To the demigods, sacrifice to Brahman, sacrifice in celibacy, in household life, in controlling the senses, in practicing mystic yoga, in penance, in foregoing material possessions, in studying the Vedas, and in partaking of the social institution called Varnasram Dharma. All of these are known as sacrifice, and all of them are based on regulated action. But within all these activities, the important factor is self-realization. One who seeks that objective is the real student of Bhagavad Gita, but one who doubts the authority of Krishna falls back. So all of these different sacrifices and austerities, if one misses the goal of becoming self-realized, then it is only, again, mundane activity. It's only meant for uh, one's own material benefit. That is not the goal. Hmm? It's like a stepping stone. The goal is not to become a perfect brahmana or a perfect satriya or perfect brahmachari or perfect sannyasi or perfect uh, grihasta. But the goal is to become a pure devotee of the Supreme Lord, irregardless of one's status in the society, whether one is poor or rich, a man or a woman, young or old, regardless of one's activities. If one miss that to become a pure devotee, then one has to take birth again in a different species of life. So to understand this knowledge, to study the Bhagavad Gita or any other scripture, it must be done under a bona fide spiritual master with service and surrender. Mm. It is also explains here. Huh? Was that Tagvidhi Parnipatena Pariprasnina Sivaya Upadakshantitigyanam Gyani Nastat Badarshina? Because they have realized the truth. They are, they are seers, they are self realized. The bona fide spiritual master. It's not an ordinary soul. Some of them are eternally liberated souls and some of them they became liberated by following the same process of sadhana, bhakti. Very rare to find an eternally liberated soul. But one can become an eternally liberated soul or reinstated oneself in his original position, where all Prabhupada says, we're all liberated souls. That is true. Well, we just became covered up. Hmm? But the eternally liberated souls, uh, eternal associates of the Supreme Lord, they're never covered up. Uh, we became Nitya uh, That means we become. Uh, contaminated by the modes of material nature when we um, tried to become independent, tried to separate ourselves from the Supreme Lord. 
So Prabhupada says, it's like sparks of the fire maintains the same quality of heat and light as long as the sparks is near the fire. So similarly, we should always be in the fire of devotional service. And even the neophytes, even the most, uh, um, in the beginner, one can become liberated once again if he keeps into the fire of the process, especially of hearing and chanting the holy name of the Lord. Um, we may want to expedite things that is good. That's why he says we should be greedy. Uh, just like the materialists, they are greedy for money. So devotees also should be greedy uh, to attain love of Godhead and as much as possible try to be engaged as many activities in serving the Supreme Lord and His devotees. Properly though, mm, this is the meaning of utsaha. It's like in that verse, Utsaha Nisya Daryat Tatat Karma Pavartanat. One should be enthusiastic, but one should use one's intelligence. Hmm? Not that enthusiastic, and then you commit so many mistakes, so many uh, boo boos. What do you mean by boo boo? <laughs> boo boo means uh, boo boo. <laughs> that means, you know, it, it's like even in Prabhupada's times, you know, they're cleaning Prabhupada's room and sometimes devotees, they, uh, they would like to clean and then they put the, uh, the uh, photo frame of Prabhupada upside down. Uh, they, they're they're uh, um, trying to make nice the Charnamrita instead of putting sugar. I put uh, namak. Hmm? Uh, we were reading also uh, Mother Kishori. Uh, she wants to give uh, Prabhupada fresh rose garland so she would sprinkle water. So first day Prabhupada accepted, second day he accepted, the third day he says, don't give me any more of this. Why you put water into the garland? Hmm? So we have to be mindful when we, when we perform uh, devotional service. We're just trying to perform devotional service. We're not in that platform of really acting in devotional service because we don't have love yet. Once we develop love and perform activities for the pleasure of the Supreme Lord, then that's why we call devotional service. Right now we're just attempting so we should be mindful and really think twice, three times before we do what we have to do or say something before we say something. It says here, One should therefore follow the path of Bhagavad Gita as it is expressed in the Gita itself and beware of self-interested people after personal aggrandizement who deviate others from the actual path. Uh, the Lord is definitely the Supreme Person. The Prabhupada says, don't rely on me. I may, um, is, that, is this the right word? He says, you just rely on Krishna. I may disappoint you. Don't rely on me. Of course, Prabhupada will not disappoint us. Prabhupada will wait till the end of time for us to go back home, back to Godhead. Uh, he's there waiting. Um, he will never cease from waiting or his representatives whom he appointed um, for us to go back home, back to Godhead. But he's out of humility only saying that uh, don't rely on me. But we should rely on Prabhupada. Hmm. He's the only person. It's like one devotee was telling me. Um, because we were having this memory of His Holiness Gunagrai Swami. 
I was telling him how great Gunagrahi Maharaj was, how many devotees he, ma he made and how many remember him. So one Prabhupada disciple told me, um, I don't think uh, many devotees know me, but he did a lot for this temple, especially uh, they sacrificed their youth, they collected so much Lakshmi for the Krishna Balaram Mandir. But he says, there is only one person that if he is pleased w with what I did, then I'll be satisfied. And that is Srila Prabhupada. Hmm? So we should act like this also. Um, we have so many shortcomings, so many obstacles, so many anarthas within our hearts. We should keep praying that somehow we have to uproot all of this. But we cannot do it by ourselves. We need the mercy and blessings of the Supreme Lord and the Vaisnavas. Ultimately, uh, all of these anarthas within our hearts will be burnt to the roots so that it will be the proper place for Krishna to sit. Mm. Right now our hearts is uh, not so clean. It's full of dust, full of dirty, dirty things. But we have to burn this, especially with this uh, transcendental knowledge from the Bhagavad Gita. The more we hear the Bhagavad Gita, then the more these unwanted desires within our hearts, they're being cleansed slowly, slowly, slowly. And then we will act. Real knowledge means acting according to the instructions of Lord Krishna. Real knowledge doesn't mean knowing the whole slokas, all the slokas, but then don't act properly. That is not knowledge. Hmm? Real knowledge means acting according to the instructions of Guru, Sadhu, and the Sastra. Hare Krishna. Any questions or comments? Hmm? Give the mic please to uh, our friend. Oh. Yes. Similarly, we see the Pandavas also. Yeah. They were similar, Arjuna was similar age of uh, Krishna. Mm -mm. Also, I think he was looking the same as Krishna also. In the picture at least. Yeah. So, they, for that time, the old age and disease were not there, I think so. Oh, uh, no, they, they will, they'll, I mean, their form is not material. Devotees also, if you compare a 65-year-old devotee and to a 65-year-old materialist, the, our devotee, a 65-year-old devotee, looks still young. Hmm? So this is all transcendental, you can understand? Yeah, because uh, we, our, our life is regulated. The main reason for that is that, you know, we get up early in the morning, you know, no wrinkles, but we're all going to die. Um, the appearance is not the matter. It's what your consciousness is. Um, some of our devotees are really young, but they're very mature immediately. Um, so yes, we all, we all uh, eternally young. Eternal pool of knowledge, bliss, and eternity. Uh, we have the same nature, quality of the Supreme Lord. Yeah. Also, Vishnu Pita, Dronacharya, and Drodhan also, they were looking quite young in the battle. Yeah, that is the depiction. But ultimately, that is just how. It's like, who saw Jesus Christ? This is how they put Jesus Christ also. It's just like, you know, that 
only from the shroud of Turin when they they uh, like Leonardo da Vinci he uh, was this yeah da Vinci's last work the Christ of Mundi is it is it da Vinci huh Yeah, yeah, it's like one of the most expensive art, four hundred fifty million dollars that art, but says it's fake. Some, you know, some say, but how, how, how did they figure that is Jesus? Never, who saw Jesus two thousand years ago? They don't have <laughs> a photograph or something, but at least Krishna's description. 5,000 years ago, it was described how he looks like, lotus-like eyes, lotus-like lips, uh, moon-like face, curly hair, peacock feather on his head. So if you put them all together, he will look like that. Hmm? It's like a, the Archavigraha form of the Supreme Lord. The Murti form is not one's imagination eternally youthful so yes devotees also look young uh, even though they're like kind of age is old but what is most important is the consciousness of the devotees yes then one devotee in Bombay used to come and offer every day Patram Kushman Palam Yeah. And he said, I'm offering every day, but I'm not getting any benefit. <laughs> so I mean, if you look for benefits, there's no benefit. You should give it by love. You are doing as a better of duty. Yes. Sir. Yeah. We should not look for the reward. Automatically, the reward <laughs> will be given. The reward that we're getting, why we're doing what we're doing, is that we become happy. We're, we're content, we're satisfied. Um, it's like um, Bibi Govinda Maharaj was talking about this morning. Their temple was like, like the poorest at that time. They don't have any, anything. But as Mother Dairi Sakti says, it's the happiest temple it should ever been. Because they're absorbed. If you're absorbed in engaging yourself in devotional service, um, that is the reward itself of being absorbed. If you're thinking, if Ar Arjuna is uh, measuring what will happen, so he not, was not absorbed. But later on, he says, yes, I shall fight then he became absorbed, then the result is not up to us, it's up to Krishna. We just have to perform our duty. But it's very difficult to, to act if you are not surrendered. If you're, if you're like uh, unwillingly doing it and you're dragging yourself to do it, then there is no happiness. There is no happiness. In the beginning, we may drag ourselves, but then eventually, if you miss Mangalarti, you feel bad. <laughs> right? If you, miss, if you miss your rounds, you, you feel bad, you feel sad. So, okay. Any other points? Yes, sir. Huh? When we discuss this, uh, one who does not understand the real nature of the Lord as the eternal, blissful, all knowing does not have God, it is certainly four number one. But uh, the same Krishna said in another verses, Bahunam Janmana Mante. How to understand this? How to understand this? Well, yeah, if you if you have not come to that conclusion, you will, right now you're still full number one. <laughs> I 
Why, you're full number two right now? Huh? Still full number one. <laughs> Prabhupada says, in front of your guru, you should always think yourself as full number one. We should be like that. Even though you know something, don't think that you know better than... It's like Prabhupada says, hmm? Don't be a better Paramahamsa than your Guru Maharaj. Don't be a better Paramahamsa than your Guru Maharaj. You don't, you don't have to come for morning program. You don't have to chant your rounds. You, know, you don't have to read Bhagavad Gita. As long as we have not come to the level where actually we attain love of God, we're full number one. Is that okay? So always think yourself as full number one, not full number two. Full number one. Devotees of the Supreme Lord, they think themselves as not devotees. They think everyone is a devotee except himself. It's out of humility. So one, one cannot say also, I know Krishna. One who says, I know Krishna, he is full number one. It's like in India. <laughs> Many of the people, you say, do you know Krishna? Oh, yes, yes, I, I know Krishna. But you don't know Krishna. Cannot know Krishna fully. Krishna expands, expanding all the time. You cannot, you cannot, cannot understand. But Prabhupada says, don't try to understand Krishna, just try to develop your love for Krishna. It's like the inhabitants of Vrindavan. For them, it doesn't matter whether Krishna is God or not. They just want to develop their love for Krishna. That should be our mood. But of course, we have to realize, understand Krishna is God to serve Him. Huh? Okay? Anything else here? Okay, last one. Get, get, get the mic. Uh, yes. I think you like time enough to uh, become perfect and uh, go back to God. What's that uh, again? This lifetime is enough. According to Prabhupada, that, uh, we can go back to Prabhupada says within one second. <laughs> but then that takes a lot of many, many lifetimes of preparation. But you can do it also with Kripa. It's what he called Kripa Siddha. Within a few seconds, you can become pure devotee by the mercy blessings of Guru, Vaisnavas, and Lord Krishna. It's not so easy. As long as we have this material body, we'll have material desires. So get rid of this material body by transforming our desires into pleasing the Supreme Lord. If our aim is always to please Guru and Krishna and the Vaisnavas, then you'll go back to Godhead in this lifetime. It's like His Holiness Gunagrahi Swami. He's always in the mood of service. He's always in the mood of chanting. Hmm? You go back to Godhead. He's not an Indian body. He's a spirit soul. He just somehow took birth in America. But he attained perfection because his consciousness, his focus is always in that. So it's not just only Indians will go back home back to Godhead. Everybody can go back home back to Godhead in this lifetime. Look at Maharaj. But he must have also performed so many pious activities and especially 
He got the mercy of Srila Prabhupada. That's the main ingredient. He got the mercy of Prabhupada. We've heard it this morning. Um, special soul. But still he will think himself as fool number one. Even though he is in the, <laughs> he's in the topmost level. As soon as you think that, oh, I'm not a fool anymore. No. Then you're not on that level. Even those who are the most elevated, they think themselves as the most fallen. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Uh, there is one uh, Goswami who says, Don't mention my name in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Who is that? There is one Goswami. Yeah, Gopal Bhatta. Don't mention my name. I'm so sinful. If they, if they heard my name, they'll get contaminated. Materialist is the opposite. They want to hear their name all the time. They want to become prominent all the time. The pure devotees, they always want to be like, you know, in the background, but they are being pushed <coughs> closer and closer to Krishna, even though they don't want to be, you know, out of humility. So these are signs of a uh, pure devotee. So you can check yourself whether you're in that level. Uh, I want to be uh, in the front all the time, or my I want to my name to be heard all the time. No, Krishna knows. Krishna is always ready, but we're not ready to go back home, back to Godhead. We must be really eager to go back home, back to Godhead. Okay, thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki! Nitai Gaur Pramanandi! Haribo!